So I recently played Evil Within 2, which is a masterpiece, by the way. Just a perfect game in every respect. But because I spend so much time playing and thinking about Supermassive games, I couldn't help but notice a couple of hints that the good people over at Supermassive love the Evil Within 2 exactly as much as I do. In fact, within the first hour of the game, there were two super familiar sequences. Let's start with the house fire that begins Evil Within 2. Yes, it starts with a house fire. You can already see where this is going. Here's what happens when the main character, Sebastian, gets to his daughter. And now let's take a look at the ending of Little Hope. I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. But I didn't save you. Neat, huh? And yes, you do spend a good amount of the first half of Evil Within 2 chasing that little girl around an abandoned, destroyed town, so there's that. The second one is even closer. So close, in fact, that I'm gonna show it on a split screen. Shit! I've got to say, now that I've played Evil Within 2, I kind of wish I'd gotten to it sooner, and I feel like this is a deeply cool thing for them to be referencing. Hopefully we'll finally get an Evil Within 3 and get an answer to what's going on with Tatiana the nurse, who is clearly also the cat. Like, supposedly, she's just an imprint on his brain from STEM, but who put that imprint there? Whose idea was it? Because it was also in Julie's STEM experience. And is she responsible for the red text at the end of the game? This is stuff we need to know about. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, consider checking out our Patreon. You can join heroic patrons like Marissa, Joanne, Eduardo, Brian, and Archer in helping keep the lights on around here. If you'd like to see more, there's nightly streams and plenty of videos to check out. We'll see you back here for the next thing, but until then, au revoir.